Oh, awesome. Incredible. Layla, we love you. You're a Stanley Cup champion just like everybody else. Thank you very much. Awesome. Two years ago, on this very day, Layla Anderson had a bone marrow transplant surgery. The family celebrates each year like it's a new lease on life. So it's her second, second birthday. This is tonight's Cardinal Buick Sunday Conversation. As Hannah Yates reports, Layla is doing just fine. Four years ago, no one could have predicted that 12-year-old St. Louis Blues superfan Layla Anderson would be doing this in 2021. I go to school. I'm celebrating Christmas with my family. I, I have a dog. Um, like, I'm your average 12-year-old. I just happen to go get blood work once every three months. Layla was diagnosed with a rare and sometimes fatal autoimmune disease called HLH in 2018 after months of testing. She was isolated for more than four months during intense treatment until she received this news in 2019. And guess where you get to go first? Where? Take a guess. Is it a blues game? <laughs> Layla continued battling for her life while her favorite hockey team continued fighting for its first ever Stanley Cup title. In May of 2019, Layla was in need of a bone marrow transplant miracle, and she got it. One month before the Blues got a fairy tale ending of their own. It's a story of hope that will live on forever. But deep down, Layla craved the chance to lace up some skates of her own. I would, at like, what would I say, like five years old, and I'd watch my dad play hockey. And I knew, I'm like, dang, hockey's in my blood. But lifting Lord Stanley's cup with her beloved blues was the closest she would get to playing hockey until she received the news in 2020 that she had been hoping to hear for four years. It was right around the All-Star game is when the Blues and Centene announced the Girls Learn to Play program. And we're just sitting, like I'm getting ready for school and my dad's like, Layla, I just got an email from Centene. There's a Girls Learn to Play in December. Do you wanna do it? And I interrupted him as fast as I could. I said, yes, sign me up, please. And the doctors gave us the okay of doing physical activities, you know, her body has changed, you know, from the medicines and the chemos and things like that, and they gave her the okay to, to do it. Layla joined 80 other girls in signing up for the first ever St. Louis Blues Learn to Play program right here at Centene Community Ice Rink. She's playing a sport for the first time since her diagnosis, but more than anything, she gets the chance to be a kid again. Like, if you look at it for a milestone, it's it's a big one, and it just goes to show I'm healthy, I'm happy, and I'm doing what I love. I think, well, I, I cried when, <clears throat> when Colton lifted the cup with her, and then I cried when she said she wanted to play hockey. It's the strength she gained from battling for her life that now motivates her to compete on the ice, fulfilling a dream to be one of the girls participating in the expansion of youth hockey in St. Louis. I think I've gone through a lot that I may not have to go through again in later in my life experience, whether it be getting another brain biopsy or as simple as having three IVs at one point. It really goes to show that hockey can be hard, but it's something I want to do. Like if you want to do something, you have to push. And I feel like if you don't have to push for it, then you don't really want it. She begins a new journey on the ice with an endless passion for the team that's inspired her from the beginning. I think when I go to Blues games, I'm still gonna be that spunky, quirky Layla. <laughs> but I will have another perspective. I will know how it is to be on the ice. And I think that'll make me cheer 10 times louder if that is ever possible. <laughs> Anna Yates, Five on Your Side.